Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordy, and welcome back to WWE 2K18, my career mode. We're back, ladies and gentlemen, and I was actually going to start this um, episode when the Money in the Bank month came around, because that's when the story begins again. Uh, but in the Extreme Rules month, because there's nothing happening this month, apparently I got a two-on-two -two match. With my new newest tag partner Baron Corbin, well Zach Polferman has a match with his newest tag partner Baron Corbin against Matt Hardy and Shinsuke Nakamura in Hell in a Cell. So this is a good time to showcase the entrance, the new the new attire, and everything. It's going to be pretty cool, and we're going to do it right now, right next. And also, I've got a little challenge to do as well because I did speak to a superstar just before this. It was a company man mission, and that's why I'm doing it. And it's to win by submission. That's what I gotta do. That's what we're going to do right here next on my career mode. Let's do it. There we go, people. And now you're about to see the new entrance. Which I personally think is really cool, but uh, yeah, you guys are about to see it. And of course, we all agreed to choose the team name and, uh, you know, we came up with the end of days. Kind of works, so we're going with that. And here we go, people. Here they are. There's Zach Polferman. Look at the size difference between Baron Corbin and Zach Polferman. Oh, my God. But here we go, people. Wow. They're making their way to the ring now. Look at that. But you guys got to remember that Zach Polferman has very bad memories of being in that cell. You know? And I'm not really going to show much of this match because... You know, I want to get as much of the story done as possible, and I want to squeeze that all into one episode. If I can get the whole match of the episode, yes, that's cool. But this whole match is not important, not as important as everything else that will be happening in this episode. Look at this entrance, people. Have you guys liked the attire as well? I went with a mossy green color, and I've also put shades with uh you know under the hood with the mask and i think it's pretty good i literally made this attire like 10 minutes ago no joke literally just i didn't want to make too many changes i don't want to put too much stress on myself i think the attire that i have with zach is pretty perfect as it is and all i need to do is change the color scheme you know now there you go people all right, here we go. I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible. I want a quick win right here. Here we go. The match is on the way. We're gonna have to Shinsuke. Baron Corbin going right after Matt Hardy. Belly to belly, the referee gets knocked down right off the bat. So what I'm aiming for is gonna hit my finisher on Shinsuke, of course. Then I'm gonna make him tap. Let's go. What's this now? Oh, we know what this is. Super kick! And another one, super kick party right here. Hopefully Baron Corbin does better than he is right now against uh, Hardy. There we go, let's go to the top rope. Zach Paul from in now. Shooting star press. May or may not have forgotten the special moves for Zach, but I guess we'll get the hang of it at some point. Let's go then. Round and round. Whoop. You know what, I'm just going to floor Matt Hardy. Just to make sure. Jawbreaker! All right, there's the black mass. All right, let's finish him. Oh, are you serious? Of course. You're doing so good this entire match. And then he reverses that. Boom, there we go. As you can tell, I've saved a lot of stamina. Stay the fuck down. You, you guys have no idea how long this has actually taken me. Look at this. He's not, he hasn't reversed anything until this time, I swear. Oh my god, this guy. 
Come on, please get a reversal in. This is taking me way too long. Oh my days. What? I wasn't expecting that to be a major reversal thing. Bam, break it up, break it up. I'm not I can't even be asked to kick out. All day, his Shinsuke was going for the Kinshas. Baron, please leave him alone. He's mine. Actually, no, he hit deep six on him. Okay. Oh, wow. Lol. Oh, Baron's fucking dead for the next 10 minutes. Oh, my audio. What the fuck is this? Yo, you guys have no idea how much time this has taken me. Oh my days. I only just saw that. Dude, oh my days. This challenge is so difficult. And all I need to do is win by submission. And look at this now. Oh, now Baron's going to hit the end of days. Then he's going to fucking get the win. No, I'm so done with this. Fuck off. Fuck you. If I don't get it on this try, I'm going after Shinsuke. You can do what the fuck you want. I don't care. Um, Shinsuke is mine. That's it. Boom. Right, get a bit of stamina back. And then I'm going for it. Come on. Right, we're going for it. We're going for it. This is it. Surely now. Yes. Corbin hits the end of days. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, referee's keeping it out of the submission, though. Yes, ref. Look at this. Yes. Oh, my God. You have no idea how long that actually took me. Oh, you could tell I was concentrating near the end, then. Because I haven't leveled up submission for Zach at all. Zach is nowhere near a submission specialist. But yeah, as you can tell, I've been like breaking up pins every time Baron went for the pin. And you know, finally, we got it. <laughs> and now you guys get to see the victory celebration. It's really nice in that Hell in a Cell, you know. Look at that. The very first win. For the end of days. And there we go, guys. Money Night Raw, June 2019. Money in the Bank month. Oh, snap, it's the game. Nice hustle last few weeks. Triple H, hey, uh, I, I appreciate that. I could tell you were stressed out for a while there, but you took off like a bullet. Uh. Only did what I had to do. That's all we can ever do, huh? Anyways, uh, pretty big month. Over the next few weeks, we're planning to decide who's gonna be in the Money in the Bank match. Uh, I've been looking forward to this milestone. You and an army of superstars. I'm telling all the other guys the same thing I'm telling you now. Every show this week is crucial in deciding who will be in the match. Uh. For the WWE Universe, for my fans, I promise to dial up my efforts to 11. Or 12 or 13, whatever man, do whatever you gotta. 11 will be more than enough. Goes without saying then. Be on the top of your game uh, all month long, understand? I hear you, won't let you guys down. Nice. Nice. Do we uh, have to meet up with someone? Hey, we got one of these choices again. Well, we know what, you, you all know what we're going for. We're going with Stephanie McMahon, the company woman. Here we go. What's going on? 
Not much. I heard there was a small get together happening soon. Yeah. Nothing big. Something called uh, money in the bank. Yeah, yeah, and you want in. No surprises there. Can you blame me? No, but I can temper you. All right, listen up. There might be mutual interest in here. Samoa Joe is our champion, and I intend to keep it that way. Money in the bank can be, and usually is, volatile. I'd want someone I can trust to win that briefcase. Agreed. I'd call that a fair deal. Right? I promise to hold on to the briefcase if you'll always remember and reward my loyalty. Done. Let's say this. If you win the briefcase and relinquish it to me, it might be beneficial to your continued future here on Raw. I think I can safely say the opposite in a scenario where you don't do that. Get it? Got it. Good. We're done here. So looks like Zach it wants in on the Money in the Bank match. And he's going to, uh, you know, get help from the authority and help them in a means of forwarding his career. Let's see what happens next in my career. Mode. Speak with Samoa Joe. Oh, snap. Well, there we go. There he is. Our very own Universal Champion. See what he's got to say. Stuff filled me in on your deal. What you need from me is what it is. I don't want specific superstars winning that briefcase. Better control that situation. Take them out. Whatever. Just win that briefcase. It's best for business. Understand? Consider it done. Very brief conversation between Zack and the Universal, oh god, and the Universal Champion. Find and ambush Seth Rollins. Well, I've done this multiple times and I've seen Let's Players do this as well. We all know where he is. In the locker room, here is Seth Rollins. Oh! And we got cameras backstage right now as Zack Pulferman has just brutally attacked Seth Rollins. Zach Pulferman has been quiet these past few weeks, but now he's he's just taken control of whatever situation it is and looks like he wants in on that Money in the Bank ladder match. And he is now attacking Seth Rollins as a means to do it. He just drop kicked Seth Rollins right into that chair there. And now Zach picks it up. Look at that. And Zach pulled from it now, attacking Seth Rollins with the steel chair. There's chaos right now in the locker room. And now look at this. Oh my god, guys. Oh my days. Ladies and gentlemen, this is brutality at its finest. It's like I can't use the trash can. I, I kind of may or may not have destroyed it. All right. Oh, right into the locker room goes Seth Rollins. Look at this, though. Hit him. Oh, my God. I was spamming square then. All right, here we go. Seth Rollins now fighting back. Oh, and Zach hit Seth Rollins with a brutal super kick right there. Oh, and now Zach Pulferman takes a briefcase, perhaps a sign of things to come. And he hits Seth Rollins with that briefcase right there. Oh, trying to lift up yeah. Seth Rollins. Looks like he can't. Went for the drop kick. Oh, look at this now. Big DDT by Zach Pulferman. I might have to go for a little bit of a change right there. Look at this. Seth Rollins is in massive trouble. And now Zach's got his eyes on the chair. Uh, on the table, sorry. Look at this now. Oh, God. Zach. Zach, no. Oh, the power bomb through the table. That is it for Seth Rollins. And now security stopping all the carnage in the locker room right now. Oh, my God. Zach Pulferman making a statement against Seth Rollins tonight. Oh, snap. Starting things off loudly, aren't you? 
Oh, you heard that? The WWE Universe heard that, man. Pretty brutal beating you just gave him. Renee is, unsurprisingly, raring to chat with you about it. Why don't you go give her a soundbite or two? Okay. Sure, dude. Let's go. And yeah, we're going to have two recorded episodes of My Career Mode until the uh, weekend. That's when we'll be getting back into the My Career Mode. Today is the road to the Money in the Bank. Tomorrow's episode will be Money in the Bank. Let's talk about what happened out there tonight. Welcome to Raw Talk. That attack came out of nowhere. Did he do something to you? What was your reason for that? I really can't answer that question. You have to understand that backstage right now, though, is much stuff going down. When the truth comes out, which I'm entirely confident of, I don't know if it will surprise you, but you will be shaken, as I am. But this is an involved process, so I can't say anything more. When all the pieces are in place, I'll do it live. For now, I don't want to influence the flow of information. Well, thanks for the time, Zach. Back to you, Cole. You unlocked Company Man Level 2. Hey, I talked to Steph and she's putting you in a two-on-one handicap match against Roman Reigns. Looks like the ball is moving. Make sure you keep pushing it and don't mess this up for me. You have the advantage here. Come on, you can count on me. Ah, right, here we go. You know the deal. A lot is riding on this match. Story of my life. A lot is riding on this match. Yes, I know. I heard you. May have heard me, but I don't think you're listening. Got yourself a powerful, no scratch that, an influential tag partner in tonight's match. Now that could mean a new dependable ally who's got your back. Eh, that's a good thing. Could also mean you're in his pocket. All in all, the only thing I'm telling you is to go into this with your eyes open. You're juggling some fire. Might be a kind of gasoline in the mix too. He's a tool at best. If I sensed anything untoward, I'd betray him first. That's cold, man, though I can compliment the survivalism. But hey, that said, have fun out there. This should be a good match, Slick. Get your opponent to red limb damage win this match. So, one of the limbs has got to be red. Easy. So, I think it's me and Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns. Zack and Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns, I think. I think. I'm going to assume it is. Yes, it is. Wow, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Roman Reigns has got a challenge tonight. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Zack, because I doubt Zack is going to tag in Samoa Joe. Let's find out what happens next on Monday Night Raw. All right, here we go. Roman Reigns, the big dog, versus Zack Polferman. Lunatic. The unhinged. I don't know. Whatever you want to call this man. We haven't really thought of a nickname for Zack. And here we go. Oh, a twist of fate right off the bat by Zach Polferman. Here we go. Zach Polferman doesn't really do well with, um, you know, tag team partners like Samoa Joe. And I doubt Zach is going to be tagging him in tonight. Especially when he's got a man like Roman Reigns in the ring. Roman Reigns now looking for a belly to belly suplex. Great reversal, and Zach's going to kick him down. Remember, these are two. These two are both former. Well. Both former WWE World Heavyweight Champions. So, you know, this is going to be quite the battle. Big headbutt by Roman Reigns. His power's going to be his strength. And there's the belly to belly suplex. Complimenting what I just said. Look at this now. That's the strength. Deadlift. Power bomb. Right there by Reigns. Here comes Reigns now, Irish Whip. No, Zach, great reversal, and there's the Hurricane Rana. That's picture perfect right there. Now, Zach Polferman is going to the second rope. Roman Reigns getting back up to his feet now. Oh, and there's the Meteora by Zach. And look at this now. Looking for something here, lifting him up. And no, great reversal by Reigns. Looking for something again, but this time Reigns has been floored once again, and now Zach. Continuing the stomping right there. And look at these strikes by Zach Pulferman. And a cannonball right into Roman Reigns. And this is what Zach Pulferman is all about. Continued energy. And there's the moonsault. One, 
two, and Reigns gets the shoulder up, ladies and gentlemen. Left hook, there's the kick, no, Reigns fighting back. Oh, now Zach fighting back, look at this, elbow to the face, big kick. Oh, look at that, Zach Polferman has dominated in this matchup. Look at this now, shooting star press, and that could be it right now, one, two, and Reigns once again gets the kick out. Uh-oh, in the corner now, Zach could be setting up for the rocket kick, and he hits it. Rocket kick. The rocket kick connects two and Reigns once again kicks out. Look at this now. Oh, this is vintage Zach with that sunset flip power bomb. I really like that sunset flip power bomb. I hope that's in 2K19. And look at this now. Zach making sure Samoa Joe keeping an eye on him. Just to show Joe and the authority what he is capable of. Look at this now. Black Mass to Reigns. The spinning heel kick. Hook of the leg. One, two. Oh, and Reigns. Roman Reigns kicks out. Big forearm here. Superman punch. That came out of nowhere. One. Two and Zach kicks out. Reigns hit that Superman punch from out of nowhere, that, but that may have hit a fire underneath Max. I mean, Max. Zach Pulferman. Where did Max come from? I've got no idea. <laughs> Here we go. And now Zach once again going up top. He's looking for it. Boom! Shooting star. Press finishing off Reigns two and Reigns kicks out again. He's doing very well in this matchup. Look at this now. Oh, what a right hook! Oh, Reigns big headbutt. Zach's got to watch out. Roman Reigns could be prepping for the spear at any moment. Oh, and Zach looking to tag in Samoa Joe and no. He's not tagging in Joe. He feels as if he's doing very well in this matchup. And he still wants to make that statement. Look at this now. Neck breaker by Zach. Flowing over one. Using the ropes. Two. And Reigns just kicked out. Zach Polferman used the ropes right there. And that could have been it. Here we go. Oh, big kick to the gut. Stop it on the head. Boom. And if that ain't going to be enough, this will. This will be enough. Look at that. Five star throat splash. Hooks the leg. One, two. Reigns kicked out again. Zach Polferman is going to continue with the offense right here, but I don't think he expected that. Oh, beautiful moonsault right there, though. I'm not going to lie. I actually could not believe that Reigns somehow kicked out. Look at Reigns now, Samoan drop, no. Big reversal. Look at this now, just the kicks and the punches. Reigns is being absolutely brutally murdered right here by Zach Polferman tonight. Look at this, sit out jawbreaker. And he is just begging Reigns to get to his feet. Just to hit him with this once again. Boom, and that could be a knockout right there. Zach looks at Samoa Joe, looks at the crowd, looks at Reigns. And he wants one more. He wants one more for the record. Up to the top. And Reigns get it back up to his feet. I don't think that's going to be a good decision. Oh, the Reigns. Samoa drop. One, two. And Zach kicks out. And Zach going to get out of arm's way. Roman Reigns kind of surprising us all right there. 
Rains out. One, two. Look at this. That's him up. Boom. Schoolboy. Power bomb. Oh, God. And Roman Reigns could be prepping for the spear right here. Oh, he's crawling away from Samoa Joe, of course. Oh, and Zach turning out of nowhere with the speed. And look at this now. It's over. Five star frog splash. Surely. One, two, three. Zach Paulferman gets the win right here tonight. Smell Joe with a smile on his face. You were focused out there. I like that. If you don't slip up, I might make you my right hand man. Hey, same here. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend. I doubt Roman will be able to. <laughs> nice. The plan is working right now to get Zach Pulferman into the Money in the Bank ladder match. The authority and Zach working in unition. And look at this. Zach face to face with Christian right now. Not much of a challenge with a partner, was it? I just I'm disappointed in you. What? Joe did jack shit. You know what? We should have a match, Mr. Christian. Why are you even back here? You're irrelevant. Idiot. And you're disappointed in me? I remember your World Heavyweight Championship title reign, my friend. I remember that. <gasps> John Cena on Raw. Okay, this is like a one-time thing. I need to go straight to him. John Cena and Zach pull from him face-to-face. -face. We've seen this before. They've had a few good matches. Let's see what they're going to say. I'd like to see you fighting without your partner. Oh, I would. I would, except from the fact I just did. Oh wow! Some of these fans are, some of these guys are blind in this company. Blind. But yeah, let's move on to week three. Speak with Todd Mullen at the production area. That's it. Is that all we're going with this week? Okay, nothing big. All right. Smell Joe's round here though. Hey, and we and uh, you know we're gonna go speak to Shadow. Nice. Remember when I said I didn't want specific superstars floating around in the briefcase's shadow? And I remember helping you control that situation with the one Mr. Reigns. Sami Zayn is quickly becoming a threat to my championship. Hmm. I'm game. I just need you to tell me how many of his bones to break. What you really mean is to ask how many bones you should you leave alone. But I'll leave that to your discretion. Got it. See you on the other side. All right. Just want to say, Zach is not a puppet of the authority. He's using, he isn't using the authority. He's using Samoa Joe as a means to get into that money in the bank ladder match. And then he's going to keep that briefcase for himself. Hang on, Slick. Dean Ambrose is out there right now. Exactly. Oh, you're doing one of those. Uh, I'm sure I have no idea what you mean by that. Uh-huh. I am in a state of cluelessness. Uh-huh. Well, what can I say? I didn't see nothing. I'm in this pre-match running. All right, let's go. Zach changing his mind, not attacking Sami Zayn, but instead attacking Dean Ambrose. Let's go. What? Um. Uh, okay. Uh, I thought this was a pre-match running. Uh, apparently, uh, maybe Baron is helping me. I don't know. We'll see. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Raw. And here comes Dean Ambrose, people. The Intercontinental Champion. Oh! It's the end of days! And Baron Corbin going right after Dean Ambrose. We know those two have history. Lugos! And look at this, a change of plan right here. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, snap, okay. Oh, look at that. And look at this now. Twist of fate to Luke Gallows. Baron Corbin now going after Dean Ambrose. Oh, spinning heel kick. 
And now Baron Corbin wants to go after Dean Ambrose. Look at the end of days now. Just picking these two apart. Drop kick by Zack. And look at that. They're both clean out. That did not take very long for the end of days to win that. Hey, Samoa Joe. Let's go. With Dean Ambrose out of the way, one less burden on my shoulders. Not only your shoulders. Looks like the championship is staying around your waist too, thanks to me. You won't regret helping me out. Wow, alright. Well, people. I know I did say this is going to be the road to the money in the bank thing, but uh, I, I, it appears we have run out of time. But... That does mean next episode is going to be slightly longer with the Money in the Bank Go Home Show and Money in the Bank itself. It, can Zach Polferman win the briefcase? If Zach Polferman wins the briefcase, that will put him on a very good standard with himself. The redemption is in full effect, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, you know what? The funny thing is, we have not seen Brock Lesnar for some time in the WWE, especially since Zach Polferman has come back. Hopefully one day we see the face-off between Zach and Brock, but uh, I have no idea when that will happen. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of WWE 2K18, My Career Mode. If you liked it, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah! Peace out. And see ya.